Hello, I'm Debbie from Sew so Simple Bags. Let me introduce you to my latest sewing pattern for the Kent wristlet clutch bag. She's a little cutie and perfect for a night out on the town, but equally at home for a grab and go bag if you need to pop out to the shops and don't need to take everything, including the kitchen sink with you. There is a secure zipper top, a narrow flat bottom, so there's plenty of room inside for all your bits and pieces, and an optional removable wristlet strap. You can even add in a second strap connector and turn this clutch bag into a crossbody bag with a long strap instead of a wrist strap. It's quite a versatile pattern. Want pockets? No problem. I'll show you how to easily create custom sized pockets to hold bank cards or your phone or whatever you need. It's a pretty ingenious method that I've been using for a while now and I'm excited to show you how. It's something for bag making that you might not have seen before. The Kent clutch bag is easy to sew. I would rate it as suitable for a confident beginner who has some ex sewing experience behind them, but it's probably not right for you if you're a complete sewing beginner. I have other patterns and videos on so simple bags that will be better for sewing newbies where I go more in depth with the explanations. Start with the Bampton drawstring bag if you're really new to sewing. It's a free pattern and has a video class too. But if you've learned the basics and are ready to try your hand at some new skills, this pattern and video class is ideal for you. You can choose to just get the written pattern with photo step-by-step -step instructions or to upgrade to also include the full step-by-step sew-along video tutorial. In the video, we will cover such things as assembling the pattern and cutting your fabric pieces how to adapt the pattern if you want to use a fabric with a directional print, how to sew a wristlet strap without any raw edges or bulky seams, tips for sewing diagonal seams. They can be tricky and unexpected things can go wrong, but I'll show you how to fix it before it even happens. The benefits of using basting tape when sewing zippers, tips for how to get nice neat zipper ends without sewing fiddly zipper tabs, how to get the best results when using fusible fleece and sewing zippers so your seams don't get too thick and bulky. How to create these custom pockets in the exact right size for you to hold cards, your phone or whatever you need. You'll be able to use this new skill with all of your other bag sewing projects too. We'll also cover how to get a better fit with your lining so it's not too loose and baggy. And lastly, how to sew boxed corners. It's a great pattern and a great sew along, and I think you'll enjoy it. I've got lots of sewing tips to share with you along the way so that you get a really good finished bag you'll be proud of. I'm just so excited to share them all with you and help you sew your way to success. So don't, so don't delay, jump right in, grab the pattern, and let's get started.